Hey guys, it's No2Guy here with another GTA 5 video guys and today we're upgrading the brand new Pegasi Infernus Classic as you see here. The car is pretty much 900k, something about 900k something and you can buy it off Legendary Motorsports, it's a pretty much classic Lambo and it looks pretty good to be fair although it's ass in my opinion is a bit big so pretty much today in this video guys we're going to be upgrading it as you see we're going to be doing a little vehicle testing towards the end as well but first we're going to show you all the customized options for the vehicle so first of all we just went through bodywork there's nothing really extreme there in my opinion so we're just going to sit and wait that out uh we'll go to the engine block okay so there's some interest and you got your default usual primary color one secondary color and then you got carbon so we'll go with carbon and then we've got our cover for that. Okay. Quite like the black carbon, but that's, nah. Well, I like to see the engine. We'll put the engine on display. We've got exhaust next. Okay. We've got titanium, tuner exhausts, and just titanium. We'll just go with chrome. Keep it looking originally. Let's see. What are we on? Lights. Put some Xeon lights on this. There you go. Yep. Don't want to put neon kit. It's a classic car. I'll ruin it. Uh, we'll get our classic plate. Oh god, what am I clicking? Sorry there guys. Uh, which way on? Respray guys. Okay, so color. Uh, I'm not sure. I was thinking yellow, but we'll go through a flu. Phew. Okay, so we've got black, white. I just think it's, since it's a Lambo, Lambo I'd say represents fucking yellow. It, 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 Lambo should be yellow. So we're going to go with probably race yellow. Race yellow is pretty good. I quite like that. We'll put some race yellow on that. We'll go secondary. See, I was wanting to go black, to be honest, but it's going to leave a kind of ugly, reflective, yellowy color. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so there's nothing here that really get rid of that kind of yellow pearlescent color mixed with it. Okay, we'll just try metals. Let's see how the car looks in. Okay, silver actually in this car. I think it's a bit too reflective. I think it's just the car's body, it's so shiny. It kind of has got a light blue tinge to it. It's a bit weird to be fair. Here we go, we'll keep... <clears throat> probably going to keep race yellow. We'll just show you other colours for the car. So you've got your blacks. Red does look pretty good. It's its default colour in the picture. <sighs> I don't know. To me, red... I don't know. It just doesn't feel like a Lambo if it's red, in my opinion. I'm not putting it orange. Orange will look ugly. Okay, so we'll go to matte black. Just had to look at that because it go with the carbon. Matte black does look pretty nice with this thing. I'll right, we'll just go secondary and we'll put it at the exact same color. What, what was it? Um, race yellow. That's what it was. There it is. Okay, so we'll buy that. So the car's looking I. See, interior, we'll just go with black. Put it nicer. Skirts, primary, secondary, or carbon. Okay, well, we'll. Let's go with a primary. Oh, here's someone coming on into my shot. Welcome. Just ruin it, why don't you? Spoilers. Uh, spoilers, what am I on about? Splitters, I think that's what it says. So we're going with uh, primary. We've got carbon shit. That's okay. Do you want, I, we'll just go with a little one. It looks pretty nice like that. Adds a little bit of detail. Where's this? What am I doing? Spoiler. Now we're on spoilers. Okay, so we've got this, nah, guys, don't put a big ugly GT type wing on it. Well, it's not a GT wing, but okay, it's dream. We'll just go without a spoiler. I quite like it without one. Let's I get our suspension, our transmission, get our turbo, high-end chrome wheels, as per usual. I love high-end chrome wheels. Okay, so default wheels are a bit dodgy. I think we're just going to go with blade. They suit it, to be quite honest. Doesn't look too fancy. That looks okay. GT Chrome looks I, but I'm not too keen on it. Use that too much. So, yeah, we'll just use Blade. We've got to get our tire design. Custom tires, never. It looks ugly on these type of cars. It's not going to be used in a race. Okay, so Windows, get our limo. Perfect. Okay. Right, what was it next? So, our Windows. Okay. We'll quickly have a look at the car. Let's have a look. <laughs> Alright, so the door's up, it's kind of in the way. It looks alright from the front, guys, to be quite honest. I quite like it. It looks a bit sexy, a bit... It's got one hell of a big ass, I can tell you that much. Interior, we'll quickly get... Interior's a bit dull, I don't like that blue lighting. 
Horn's kind of just normal, nothing special about it. Yeah, it's got a really big back. Oh, that is a bad thing about this car though. We'll get this on. We had to do our body work. So that's pretty much it, guys. That, mm. I think that, that the thing that puts me off this car personally is just the size of the back. If it was kind of the exact same as the front size, it would be pretty light. It looks good from the front, bit of a bitch from the back. So we're going to take this out, guys, and we'll test it on the street to Los Santos, see how she drives. <laughs> Can it drive? I love it. If you haven't seen that, guys, you have to watch the DK meme. Okay, so out we come. Um, sounding pretty good. Sounding pretty good. This that back. You need to get used to that. It's not too swervy. Oh. Oh, wow. See, look at that. Police brutality. It hit me. Right, let's drive. It's that back. It's just the thing that kind of puts me off. It's a bit big. A big ass. <gasps> Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm amazing at driving this brand new car. Come on, this is my first time driving, guys. Don't judge. Okay, you can watch my other videos if you like, racing videos. I've got a few, don't really do them too often. But overall, this car is actually okay. It's like reasonably speedy. The drift RB button, you know, that works. That's working. Handbrake's working pretty well for it. It's not too bad on that circumstance. I'm just like not very good at driving. <laughs> Because I'm kind of observing the outside, I'm, like, I'm checking the outside looks, so I'm just kind of driving it around. It's alright, it's tapping RB there. It's got alright acceleration, I don't know how fast it is though. It seems reasonably fast, it's respectively fast, high acceleration. But competing against other classic cars, I personally think it'll do pretty well. If you want guys, leave a like down below and I'll do a video on the top 10 classic cars in GTA. We'll do them speed wise. Oh. Okay, so we're going reasonably fast if you look at the speed dial. Oh, bloody hell. Let me finish up here. So guys, well, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace out.